Good afternoon. I am Nuri Turkel, Senior Fellow here at the Hudson Institute. I'm delighted to welcome you to today's important conversation. Taiwan is a vibrant, prosperous democracy, but it faces looming authoritarian threats from China. Today, we're honored to be hosting the president of the Taiwanese Legislative Yuan, Mr. Yu Sukun. Last August, I had the privilege of addressing the regional religious freedom forum, which was co-hosted by the Taiwanese government. I delivered a speech on the Uyghur genocide and the lessons that can be learned, such as China's intent to re-educate the Taiwanese people. One of the main takeaways from the forum was that Taiwan is committed to asserting itself as an equal player amongst democratic nations. Taiwan's commitment to human rights and religious freedom is an example of its value in advancing global peace and prosperity. I was delighted to meet President Yo in Taipei and to welcome him in Washington earlier this year. We had a working lunch meeting on the sideline of the International Religious Freedom Summit. These types of engagements demonstrate that beyond geostrategic interest, Taiwan is a contributing and responsible member of the community of democracies. Recently, the US government has affirmed Taiwan's important role by pressing for its inclusion as an observer in the World Health Organization. Taiwan's pandemic response, which was characterized by government transparency, responsible policies, and the personal obligation taken by its citizens, offered an information, informative example for the rest of the world. As a digital democracy, Taiwan successfully contained the pandemic by utilizing tools for testing and contact tracing. In contrast, China used digital tools to suppress information and control its citizens. As a result, Taiwan avoided a widespread, uh, the widespread death and economic disruption that has been seen in other parts of the world. I'd like to close with a powerful quote from President Tsai Ing-wen just yesterday at the Copenhagen Democracy Summit. She stated, as history and collective experience continue to remind us, complacency, turning a blind eye, emboldened authoritarians. Taiwan has stood on the front line of this authoritarian challenge for the past decades. However, our commitment to democracy has never been stronger. Today's event will be in two parts. First, uh, Speaker Yeo, uh, President Yeo will deliver some remarks. And then uh, we will have a panel discussion moderated by Josh Rogan of the Washington Post. President Yeo is a long-serving member of the Taiwanese parliament. And he was, founder, he was the founder of the Democratic Progressive Party, DPP. His decades-long political career and valuable perceptives can, perspectives can teach us about the importance of public service and leadership. President Yeo, podium is yours. Tukao Chairman Terrell, Mr. Rogan, Mr. Atwood, former NDI President, uh, Chairwoman Marianza, uh, ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, good afternoon. Hudson Institute创新研究与分析提倡全球安全繁荣与自由，孕育了无数智慧及前瞻政策建议，令人敬佩。有机会代表台湾国会，受邀到贵所来。the Hudson Institute is dedicated to promoting a secure, free, and prosperous world, and works toward this end by, provo by providing unparalleled 
research and analysis. It's been the cradle of countless wise, forward-looking policy recommendations. For these efforts, I express my admiration. It's a great honor for me to stand before you as president of Taiwan's Legislative Yuan to share some thoughts, even as Taiwan has recently been called by the economist the most dangerous place on Earth. Uh, 首先我介紹是民進黨前書記長陳廷輝委員 I will first introduce these stellar members of Taiwan's legislature. First is Democratic Progressive Party member Chen Tingfei. 他是一位實力堅強的資深委員 然後接下來我要介紹是台灣民眾黨黨團 邱成年總招 And next is Taiwan People's Party Whip 邱成員 他向來是全球台商的重要領袖,再來是介紹是時代力量黨黨團的邱顯志總招. And there is new party, uh, new power party whip, Chou Xian uh, Zhi, who is a human rights lawyer and study in Germany. 他是劉德的傑出人權律師, 他們三位代表了台灣國會的三個重要政黨。the three major political parties they represent together claim more than half of the public support in Taiwan. 目前台灣各黨正積極辦理下一屆的總統及國會議員的黨內出現。為什麼我們會一起來到貴國? 我們感謝貴國在去年年底通過二零二三年國防授權法案時同意五年提供台灣一百億美元的軍援也感謝拜登政府最近可能將動用總統撥款權直接無償提供價值五億美元的武器給台灣 Today, political parties in Taiwan are conducting primaries for our upcoming presidential and legislative, uh, legislative elections. So how is that we have come to the United States together now? Well, we believe that only by standing here can we properly reflect you the respect and the gratitude the people of Taiwan have for the United States. We thank the United States for passing the National Defense Authorization Act 2023, which authorizes grant assistance to Taiwan of up to 10 billion US dollars over five years and loans of up to uh, 2 billion US dollars during fiscal years 2023 through 2027. And I also want to thank US President Joe Biden for the possibility of using presidential drawdown authority to provide 500 uh, million US dollars worth of military aid to Taiwan. 我是一位民族老兵, 出生于蒋介石派军屠杀台湾人民, 228事件的第二年, 从蒋氏政权戒严统治, 38年中走过来的, 也在戒严白色恐怖下, 冒险踏上政治之路, 因此从政40多年来, 我深切体会台湾今日不还的民主成就虽然是台湾两千三百万人民共同努力的结果但是美国的协助功不可没。The pivotal U.S. role in Taiwan's democratization. I'm a pro-democracy veteran, and I was born in 1948, the year before the 228 incident in which Chiang Kai-shek had troops massacre people in Taiwan. I endured 38 years of martial law under the Jiang regime and took a great risk in starting a political career in a time of white terror. I've been a politician for more than 40 years, and I understand that Taiwan's remarkable democratic achievements are thanks to the effort of the 23 million people of Taiwan. But I also know the, that the U.S. assistance played an essential role. 在建言时期的1986年,一群台湾人勇敢于元山饭店宣布成立, 
民主进步党。信罗当时，美国对此高度关注，不但使之未沦为另一起政治迫害事件，更辗转促成战后台湾第一个民主反对党诞生及其后的解除戒严。今天借这个机会。我要以身为当年民主进步党原山主党策划人及原山主党大会主席的身份，在此感谢贵国，因为没有美国当年的仗义相助，就没有今日的民主台湾。In 1986, a group of people who decided they were no longer afraid of the heavy hand of martial law founded my party, the Democratic Progressive Party, at the Grand Hotel in Taipei. The U.S. paid a great deal of attention to this event, thanks to which political persecution did not follow. Rather, this event birthed Taiwan's first democratic opposition party and was followed by the end of martial law. I was an organizer involved in the founding of the Democratic Progressive Party, and I presided over the meeting at which the party was founded. In such capacities, I stand before you a grateful man. Without American help at that time, Taiwan would not be the full-fledged democracy of today. 除了民主化过程有美国的相助之外，半世纪以来的美国对台关系。有时候会拉得比较远，但是有时候又会很亲近。但是不管怎么样，从来没有真正，就美国从来没有真正离开过台湾。数十年来，协助维护台海和平及促进台美之间的经济、科技、文化等各方面的密切交流。近年来，美国更结合许多民族友邦，打造。和平稳定的印太区域，加强与日韩的安保合作，坚决反对武力改变台海和平现状等。民主台湾面对中国霸凌，很庆幸世界上仍有美国这样光明与温暖的友情。届时，我要以台湾立法院院长的身份，代表台湾国会及人民，向。美国及各位贵宾表达诚挚的感谢，谢谢大家。In addition to American help, relations between the U.S. and Taiwan have sometimes been hot again, cold again over the past half century, but the U.S. has never been absent. For decades, the U.S. has helped to safeguard peace across the Taiwan Strait. It has also supported close bilateral economic, technological, and cultural exchanges. And in recent years, the U.S. has worked with many democratic allies to maintain a peaceful and stable Indo-Pacific region. As part of this, it has strengthened the security cooperation with Japan and the Republic of Korea, and has firmly opposed unilateral changes to the peaceful status quo across the Taiwan Strait. In confronting intimidation by the Chinese Communist Party, Democratic Taiwan has been fortunate to have a solid friend in the United States. As president of Taiwan's Legislative Yuan, and on behalf of both the legislature and our people, I want to express my heartfelt appreciation to our distinguished guests to, and to your wonderful country. 然而，当我们高兴于台湾民主被誉为国际典范之际，您我心中应该还有很多遗憾之事。因为近十年来，全球的民主版图呈现呈现萎缩。从香港反送中、阿富汗、缅甸军政府到俄罗斯入侵乌克兰，局势令人气馁。各国自由之家，二零二二年全球自由报告，甚至直指有六十个国家呈现。民主衰落的现象，深究之，全球民主社群遭遇打击，事实上也跟华人文化圈民主发展发生困难有深厚的关系，而这个困难又与民主国际
基于经济利益而忽视了以行公益、好人民的心，去积极关注中共及全球威权统治下的人民有关。As we celebrate Taiwan's democracy, which has been acclaimed as a role model, and yet in the past decade the global democratic landscape has withered, we have witnessed protests over Hong Kong's anti-extradition bill, crackdowns on democracy in Afghanistan and Myanmar, and Russian aggression against Ukraine. These are indeed frustrating times. According to Freedom in the World 2022, released by the Freedom House, 60 countries have backsliding on democracy. There is an assault on the global democratic community, and it is connected to the difficulty democracy has had in taking root in the Chinese-speaking world. This has come to pass because the international democratic community has focused solely on economic gain. It has forgotten to get、uh, to act as the prophet Mika chastened to do justly and to love mercy. It has not shown concern for those suffering under the CCP and authoritarian regimes worldwide. 此时此刻，谢谢。此时此刻，我要特别提醒世人一句话：台湾不是。中共的终极目的地，中共的目标是东升西降，是欧美，是全球，是要成为世界帝国。台湾只是他前进时的踏板而已。习近平上台后，抛弃了邓小平的韬光养晦，及胡锦胡锦涛的和平崛起，先是中国梦。提出太平洋够大，足够容纳中美两个大国。其后，积极推动“一带一路”，违背对奥巴马总统不会将南海岛礁军事化的承诺，遂行“战狼”外交，没收香港“一国两制”等。今年三月二三日的普习会，更与普丁达成。共同推动百年变局的共识，其改变既有国际秩序的意图已经毫不掩饰。Today I stand here to remind the world, Taiwan is not the CCP's <coughs> ultimate goal or final destination. The CCP wants to see the East rise and the West decline. It wants to be hegemon over Europe. The Americas and the entire world. Taiwan is but a stepping stone. After Xi Jinping took office, he discarded Deng Xiaoping's notion of hiding capabilities and biding time, and Hu Jintao's ideal of China's peaceful rise. Xi proclaimed the China dream and stated the broad Pacific Ocean is vast enough to embrace both China and the United States. He has promoted the Belt and Road Initiative, violated the promise to President Obama not to militarize the islands in the South China Sea, began practicing wolf warrior diplomacy, and upended Hong Kong's one country, two systems status quo. When Xi met with Russian President Vladimir Putin on March 23, the two men reached a consensus. To promote changes that have not been seen in a century, his intention to upend the international order could not be clearer. 对全球带来威胁，为何是中共，而不是印度？印度同样也是人口超过十四亿人的大国。虽然印度与邻国有纠纷，但从来没有被看作世界和平的威胁者，就其根本就在于中共政权的贬值。中共除了原来的共产主义的极权贬值之外，更存袭了孔子的“天无二日，土无二王”，即中国普天之下莫非王土。
，率土诸兵莫非王臣的中国传统，这个是思想，在中国眼中，全世界都是他的天下，所以我们可以肯定的说，保护台湾便是保护欧美，确保台湾安全便是确保。全球的公共利益，如果现在我们不正视中国的威胁，那么等待我们的恐怕是全球人类的黑暗未来。But why is it the CCP that poses a global threat? Why not India? Both countries have a population of over 1.4 billion, but they are as different as night and day. Although India has disputes with its neighbors, it's never regarded as a threat to world peace. The root cause is the nature of the CCP regime, which is both communist and authoritarian. It believes in traditional Confucian ideas, such as there cannot be two suns in the sky, nor two kings on earth, and all land under heaven belongs to the king, and all people are subject to him. The whole world, therefore, is subject to one ruler. Accordingly, we can say that protecting Taiwan equates to defending both Europe and the United States. To ensure Taiwan's security is to ensure the global public interest. If we do not take China's threats seriously, a dark future awaits all of mankind. So, in this such a important moment, I want to urge all of my American friends to be strong. 持续坚定的行公义好怜悯，坚强的守护全球人类的文明及普世价值，并积极关心中国十十四亿人民的人权，因为人类文明存续，舍美其谁？因为公义伸张，非美不可。横跨两世纪以来。最强大、最自由、最繁荣的国家是美国，永不止息追求民主、为公民正义奋斗的也是美国。我们非常感谢拜登总统所说的：“如果台湾遭到前所未见的攻击，美国将会出兵防卫台湾。” At this、uh, critical juncture, I beseech our American friends to continue to do justly and to love mercy, safeguard the civilization and universal values by paying attention to the plight of the 1.4 billion people of China, who will stand for civilization if not the United States, who will fight for justice if not the United States. The United States is the strongest, the freest. The wealthiest country in history, the United States has always stood for democracy, for fairness, and for justice. We are grateful to President Biden for saying that U.S. forces would defend Taiwan if, in fact, there was an unprecedented attack. 此外，日本岸田文雄首相、韩国尹锡月总统表明，台湾。问题是全球问题，会持续强化美日韩安保合作，并坚决反对武力改变台海和平现状。菲律宾总统小马科斯也说，如果台海发生战争，将可能准许美军使用菲律宾的基地。日韩台菲这个连线就像一个新月连线。再加上美国的协助，成为印太地区安全与和平的最重要的稳定力量。Recently, Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida and Korean President Yoon Suk Yeol both stand that the Taiwan issue is a global issue. They vow to continue to strengthen the security partnership, linking their nations with the United States. And declared opposition to a change in the cross-strait status quo by force. Philippine President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. said that granting U.S. access to Philippine military bases was a defense defensive measure that would be useful if China were to attack Taiwan. 
the crescent of defense formed by Korea, Japan, Taiwan, and the Philippines will, with American support, be a key stabilizer of peace and security in the Indo-Pacific region. Taiwan有帮国际保护及加强倡议法，支持台湾加入联合国UN、世界卫生组织WHO、国际民航组织ICAO。国际货币组织IMF等 Today, I want to thank you, but I also want to ask for your continued the support of Taiwan, which stands on the front lines facing an authoritarian power. I hope the U.S. will back Taiwan's joining the United Nations, World Health Organization, International Civil Aviation Organization, and International Monetary Fund, which it can do under the Taiwan Allies International Protection and Enhancement Initiative Act of 2020. I also hope that uh, the double taxation of our businesses will end with the passage of the Taiwan Tax Agreement Act of 2023. Taiwan is eager to sign with the United States a bilateral trade agreement. This would further economic cooperation and enhance our ability to resist an authoritarian regime and together maintain international peace and stability. As President Kennedy said, united there is little we cannot do, divided there is little we can do. 在这里我还我要再次强调，特别要在这里感谢美国，感谢在座的各位朋友，长期以来对台湾的支持，对台湾的帮忙，非常谢谢。台湾有今天，各位的贡献非常的巨大，谢谢大家。I also want to take today's opportunity to thank the United States once again, and also to thank all of you for your long-standing support to Taiwan. You made uh, tremendous contributions to make what Taiwan is today. So I want to thank you. 在这里，我要借这个场地特别来向我一位朋友来表达感谢。这一位朋友。我到今年七十五岁，书上在过去只有见过一次面。然后我三十八岁的时候见过，见见过他。那隔了三十七年后的今天再见到他，虽然我们见面的机会很少，但是我对他始终丝丝恋恋啊，非常感谢他对台湾
，因为在一九八六九二八要阻挡的一个月前，台湾的蒋介石政权还用镇暴部队在台北街头连续三天的演习。Because one month before DPP was found、uh, on September 28, 1986, Taiwan's uh, Jiang, uh, Jiang Kai-shek、uh, regime still、uh, launched、uh, three-day riot police drills on the streets of Taipei City. This this demonstration to April 14th at night ended. April 15th, Taiwan's government officials. 在中山国小办一个演讲会，那那时候办一个演讲会，大家知道这个是非气氛非常不好，但是因为 Edward 啊，他那时候就 NDI 的主席就上台去演讲，那那个演讲对台湾啊在场的士气啊鼓舞鼓舞很大，而且杂志写说，因为他上台很多的。这个统治者的警察都把他疏散掉，所以最没有受到骚扰的一场机会。Um, the drills、uh, concluded on August 14, and on August 15, Dong Wai members、uh, organized a, a gathering at、uh, Taipei's Zhongshan Elementary School. And actually, the atmosphere was quite tense at that time. And、uh, thanks to Mr. Edward's、uh, speech, which、uh, encouraged a lot to the people of Taiwan. And、uh, so, during、uh, because of his、uh, support and his appearance and his speech,、uh, I can say that gathering was the last, uh, um, the last uh, harassed uh, gathering that、uh, Dongwei members have experienced because of、uh, the presence of Mr. Edward. All the riot、uh, police officers disappear. Or take this opportunity. 这这件故事最主要就是，真的，我们是非常台湾是非常诚心的，感谢美国政府、国会，还有民间人士，大家长期以来的帮忙，才有今天的台湾民主政治。非常的谢谢，谢谢美国，也谢谢 Ed 我先生。The reason I share this story is because、um, uh, Taiwan wants to thank the U.S. administration, the U.S. Congress,、uh, the U.S. society, and American friends for their long-term support to Taiwan, so that Taiwan can have its、uh, democratic politics. So、uh, I want to thank the United States once again, and also to Mr. Edward for your friendship and support. 最后，敬祝台美两国国运昌隆。各位身体健康，万事如意，谢谢大家。So in conclusion, I、uh, wish Taiwan, United States, a national prosperity and all distinguished guests good health and every success. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President,、uh, for your insightful and educational remarks. Now I'm pleased to introduce our moderator, Josh Rogan. Um, as many of you know, Josh is a columnist for the Washington Post and uh, opinion, um, uh, a political contributor for CNN. He's also the author of a、uh, bestseller book,、uh, "Chaos Under Heaven:、uh, Trump, Xi, and Battle for the 21st Century," which was published in 2021. Josh is also an expert in Asian affairs, and his insights will be invaluable for today's discussion.、Uh, with that, I pass the floor over to Josh. Thank you, Nuri. Thank you, everybody, for coming today. I'm going to start a conversation here on stage, and then hopefully we'll have some time to get to your questions.、Uh, President Yeo, thank you so much for coming to Washington. Thank you to the whole delegation. It's crucial, in my opinion, for、uh, the U.S. and Taiwan to have a open and robust and public conversation about these important issues that affect both of our countries.、Um, Unfortunately, your speech answered most of my questions already. <laughs> <laughs> But let me try to come up with something anyway.、Uh, I thought it was very interesting the, that you said Taiwan was a stepping stone, and that protecting Taiwan equals protecting the United States and Europe as well. Here in Washington, 
this is a matter of intense debate. Does the United States have an interest in coming to the aid of Taiwan in the case of an invasion? What, why should Americans dedicate our blood and treasure to defending Taiwan? And are you confident that if the attack happens, the American military will show up? You're 但是自立自强之外我们知道台湾的力量还不够当然我们需要美国欧洲还有日本韩国就是所有的民主国家大家共同来帮助台湾 Thank you for your wonderful question I have two points to respond to your question uh, Taiwan has a strong self-defense will. And from Taiwan's history, uh, we can see that we have strong DNA in resisting external aggression or threat. Therefore, uh, we have strong self-defense will. However, this is not enough. That's why we also need the aid or uh, support assistance from uh, the United States, Japan, European countries, etc. 有关于台湾的防卫意识的部分，我想这个在外在国际的媒体也有也有指引。我借这个机会，我会花比较多时间把它讲清楚。I think I will spend more time in uh, elaborating on Taiwan's strong self-defense will because I think this is also a very interesting uh, topic to many uh, foreign press or media. 1895年4月17日。馬關條約簽字日清馬關條約簽訂那清國將台灣割讓給日本所以日本在五月二十九號就正式登陸台灣接收台灣 uh, Shimonoseki Treaty was uh, signed on April 17, 1895 and the Qing Dynasty uh, ceded Taiwan to Japan and uh, on May 29, the Japanese troops uh, took over Taiwan. He上岸以后遭遇到非常强烈的抵抗，然后日军进到台南城，台南市台南城，那平定了台南城以后，打电报给日本的首相，然后里面当然是文字也多，其中最关键就是说。全岛西与平定,就是整个台湾岛,我都平定了。那这样,那个是在11月18号。从5月29号到10月18号,一共花了5个月又20天。the Japanese troops uh, face uh, unprecedented Taiwanese resistance uh, when they landed uh, the island of Taiwan. And when the Japanese troops uh, um, came down to uh, Tainan City and uh, finally conquered the city, um, the commander telegrammed back to uh, Japan and told uh, the, the Japanese prime minister that uh, the Japanese troops have conquered uh, the island of Taiwan. And that was uh, November 18th. So it took five months and 20 days for the Japanese troops to conquer uh, the people of Taiwan. 五个月二十天很可能在这各位我觉得说你们台湾还是到最后还是被平定啊但是我要跟他报告俄罗斯入侵乌克兰三天的时候那曾经有媒体报道说美国希望他能够到美国来昨天至今他讲说我需要的是
。所以当他成一个礼拜以后，全球的舆论、全球所有政治人物都觉得这个乌克兰真的了不起。他只有一个礼拜，那台湾是撑了五个月又二十天。So、um, it took、uh, Japanese troops、uh, to conquer Taiwan、um, five months and twenty days, and some people may say that、uh, Taiwan was still conquered by the Japanese troops. However, when we look at、uh, the Russian aggression against、uh, Ukraine, on the third day, it was reported that the United States over President、uh, Zelensky、uh, chan- a way to flee、uh, abroad. But、uh, President Zelensky responded by saying that、uh, what Ukraine needed was、uh, more weapons, ammunition, not a way for me to flee. So,、um, compare with、uh, this case,、uh, it took、uh, Japan to conquer Taiwan、uh, with、uh, five months and twenty days. 讲到这里，你各位很可能有人想说，只有五个月二十天，人家在乌克兰是啊、呃，这个。一年又三个月啦，当然大家这样想没有错，但是我要跟大家报告，乌克兰，它有总统，有政府，有国军，有武器，又有北约支持。台湾那时候，因为是割让，割让亲国政府，就撤退掉了，所以在台湾是没有总统。没有政府，没有国军，因为国军跟着政府走了；没有武器，因为武器跟着国军走了。当然，因为他有电马关条约，有国际条约，当然其他国家也没有办法来生援台湾。台湾这种情形之下，撑了五个月又二十天。各位想一想，台湾真的是不容易呀、啊。Some people might、um, ask the question or wonder.、Uh, it took、uh, Taiwanese to resist the Japanese、uh, um, taking over four or five、uh, months and twenty、uh, days, and、uh, in Ukraine's case,、uh, it's been fifteen、uh, months. However. Uh, Ukraine has its own、uh, present government, national troops, weapons, and support of NATO. Compared with uh, Ukraine, uh, Taiwan at that time was ceded by Qing Dynasty to、uh, Japan, and Qing Dynasty government ha-、uh, has withdrawn from Taiwan. So there was、uh, no leader, no government, no troops, and no weapons、um, because.、Uh, And then because of the signature of Shimonoseki Treaty,、uh, no other countries、uh, came to aid、uh, of Taiwan. So、um, under that kind of tough circumstances, Taiwan、uh, could still resist、uh, Japanese、uh, rulership for、uh, five、uh, months and twenty days. It was really not easy. Thank you.、Um, If I could just ask you, okay. Thank you for the very hi- good history lesson.、Uh, let me impress you today. Do you have confidence that the United States and allies will come to Taiwan's defense? And do you have confidence that Taiwan has the means at this moment, now, to, to defend itself? 哎，我想刚才我讲就是说，台湾的，因为人民的防卫就是最佳的国防。I think Taiwan's national, uh, Taiwan's uh, self-defense will is the best means of national defense. 所以台湾一定要自立自强，这方面我刚才分析了，台湾有那个敌意外侮的基因，所以这个部分我对台湾人民有信心。Uh, as I just mentioned, that、uh, Taiwan need to be strong by themselves, and、uh, as well as Taiwan has very strong DNA in resisting foreign aggression or external threats. So I have full confidence in Taiwan. Now, Taiwan has a deep sea, plus there is also the supply of Taiwan's weapons, and plus the national defense. So I really have confidence in Taiwan in the outside threat assessment. But 我是和平主义者，我不希望有战争。嗯、um, 
In addition, Taiwan also has the Taiwan Strait as a national uh, as the natural um, national defense for us, and uh, plus we have the sophisticated weaponries provided by the United States, and plus Taiwan has strong self defense will. Therefore, I have full confidence in our people in resisting or. Uh, facing external aggression. However, I want to stress that I want to see peace, not war. So I very much thank the United States President, his leadership of the democracy world, including the Indian Army. And in the past, the military is more complicated, now it's more complicated. Now, including the Japan, China, the Philippines, the Philippines, the Philippines, the Philippines, the Philippines, the Philippines, 问题就是全球性问题，大家有在关心啊！我是觉得这样应该可以后主中共侵略，只要他能够后主，台海就会和平。And、uh, I want to thank、uh, the U.S.、Uh, President Biden for leading the democratic、uh, community with Indo-Pacific、uh, strategy, and now it's become clearer and clearer as we can see the cases from Japan, the Republic of Korea, and the Philippines that have reached the consensus that uh, issues related with Taiwan Strait is a global issue. And I believe that this will become a deterrence to China and、uh, to prevent it from taking any reckless uh, uh, action against the Taiwan. Thank you. I understand. Thank you.、Um, you mentioned Ukraine a couple of times.、Uh, here in this room, I believe, a couple of weeks ago, the Hudson Institute hosted a debate. Hudson Institute hosted a debate.、Uh, one side says that the fate of Ukraine matters greatly toward to the fate of Taiwan.、Uh, another side says these two things are not related at all. Which one do you believe, and <laughs> and why? Ah, in fact, ah, Ukraine brought Taiwan a lot of joy and support. That is, Ukraine, ah, the Russian Revolution brought a lot of joy to the world. The world is a joyful place with a lot of joy. So, everyone. 很力挺乌克兰，那啊也因为这样，让习近习近平看了以后，觉得啊乌、呃、克兰都那么困难了，那这个民主国际都那么的合作，那我如果轻举妄动的话，可能会变成普京帝哦，让他不敢轻举妄动，他是对台湾是有帮助的。I think、uh, Ukraine's case has、uh, provided reflections to international democratic、uh, society that have、uh, provided strong support to Ukraine, and I believe that after、uh, Mr. Xi Jinping's、uh, sees、uh, this kind of trend, it would. It, it has been so difficult to、uh, conquer uh, Ukraine uh, because of the collective efforts of support、uh, by the international community to Ukraine. I believe that it will、um, become a kind of a, a deterrence for Mr. Xi Jinping and to make him、uh, to ponder and、uh, to prevent him from taking. Any reckless action, so that he will not become the second Putin. Excellent. Let me turn to you, Nuri, yeah, for yeah.、Uh, your reactions. First of all, on、uh, uh, legislative president's、uh, speech uh, and uh, uh, your take on the current state of U.S.-Taiwan relations and the debate over Taiwan right now in Washington. So thank you very much.、Um, just to listening to、uh, to President Yu and and your excellent questions, something came in mind that、um, I think we need to、uh, focus a little bit more. In addition to、uh, technology, the competition, the military aid issues, for example, the the messaging strategy,、uh, the the way that we are conveying our messages,、uh, need to be revisited. The United States government has been somewhat confusing.、Uh, Keep changing the tone, the messages, the wording. That is not helpful.、Uh, we have to look at, you know, in relation to what you were asking earlier, the American people's response. 
if we cannot explain why we care about Taiwan democracy and sovereignty, at the end of the day, we will not have the backing from the American people. It's very dangerous, and it's very, very uh, unhelpful to people of Taiwan. And those policymakers trying to do the right thing. And then, on the other hand, for the Taiwanese people, if you keep sending uh, confusing messages, it undermines their courage, their willpower to defend their homeland, their, defend their sovereignty. And finally, the messaging also has uh, a, a ramification in Beijing. Uh, if you keep send, saying inconsistent, making inconsistent statements, keep changing the tone, it will be perceived as a weakness in Beijing. So I strongly, uh, strongly uh, believe that on this issue, an overall China policy and other issues, specifically in human rights, we have to be consistent. Saying democracy and human rights are front and center of foreign policy objectives are a plausible position, it's a good position, but we have to also deliver. Understood, thank you, uh, Nuri. Um, let me turn back to you, Mr. President. Uh, this week, the leaders of the G7 nations are meeting in Hiroshima. At the top of the agenda is a, will be a discussion of Chinese economic coercion. These leaders are looking for a way to reduce dependency on China's economy and increase punishment for economic coercion by Beijing. Taiwan has been a victim of economic coercion for a very long time. What advice would you have for the G7 leaders as they think about solutions to this very complex problem. Uh,有关于这个,呃,中共它,就说,现在全球大家非常,呃,了解中共那种贬值,所以大家知道说应该怎么样,呃,应该要团结来对付中共。啊,我们可以看得出来这个是, 啊,非常好的一个现象,就是说有更多的国家便利团结对付中共,这个好现象。uh, I think the entire world is getting a better uh, understanding about the true nature of CCP regime, and uh, more uh, democratic countries have been united to uh, find ways to be engaged with um, China or CCP, and I believe that this is a positive trend. 至少,馬克龍先生講的這個台海衝突無關歐洲,這一件事情呢,今天下午就上。At this, uh, what French President Macron stated that uh, um, conflicts in the Taiwan Strait has nothing to do with Europe, and this kind of statements, um, effects have been died down. 那有關制裁,怎麼樣來制裁對付中共,要怎麼制裁? 这个部分事实上台湾好了比较没有经验，我是说，觉得现在先进国家啊，不管是北约，尤其是美国在这方面的啊经验是比较丰富。uh, in terms of how to sanction CCP or how to punish CCP's economic coercion, Taiwan has uh, less experience in that. And I believe that NATO can, member states or especially the United States um, um, might have uh, more experiences or ways to, to do that. But Yao and uh, we need to notice that um, this marks the first time for G7 to issue a joint statement to support Taiwan's participation in various international organizations. If organizations do not require statehood as a uh, um, membership, then um, Taiwan can uh, join them as a member. And if it requires the statehood as a membership, and then we can um, participate in these organizations as an observer. And I believe that this is a very encouraging uh, signal to Taiwan. Okay, 
岸田文雄、岸田首相，日本的岸田首相跟啊、呃、这个啊韩、呃、国的尹锡悦总统分别先后讲啊、呃、台海议题就是全球议题，像这样啊、呃、就让。马克宏所讲的就一扫而空，所以这一次的七七本啊，可以说对台湾来讲是有意义的，我们非常的感谢。And both the Prime Minister, Japanese Prime Minister Kishida and、uh, Korean President Yin、uh, stated that、uh, issues across the Taiwan Strait is a global issue, and their statement has offset the impacts made by French、um, Macron's statement about、uh, the conflict in Taiwan Strait has nothing to do with Europe. So I believe that、um, G7's、uh, joint statement has made. Uh, con- uh, tremendous um, assistance to Taiwan. Thank you so much,、uh, Nuri. Let me ask you, you: you bring up a good point that、uh, unclear messaging can be destructive to uh, uh, com- good communication between the U.S. and Taiwan.、Uh, this week in Washington, or I should say, last week in Washington, we had a, 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 a strange debate about a strange idea.、Yeah. The idea proposed by a U.S. congressman was that the United States government should threaten to—I can't make this up—to blow up TSMC in order to keep it from falling into Chinese hands. To be clear, I think that this is a stupid idea.、Yeah. Nevertheless, there are many people in Washington who think this is a great idea. Yeah. This seems to fit into your idea of messaging. What do you think about this? And then, well, Mr. President, I'm going to ask you as well. So be prepared. It, it is. It, it is. It is. You know, lack of a better word, asinine to make that kind of suggestion. It's very irresponsible.、Uh, two ways. One, it will help those who are advising Xi Jinping to say, "See, the U.S. has a different ultra motive." At the same time, makes those、uh, countries around the world partners and allies. Who are reluctant to get involved in this conflict to say, look, this U.S. has a different、uh, objectives. So it's unhelpful both ways. So the the politicians,、uh, specifically members of Congress, need to be careful with what they say in public. I agree,、uh, Mr. President. Blowing up TSM or threatening to blow up TSMC. Good idea, bad idea. What do you think? Obi. <laughs> <laughs> 我不是说比较，因为我是有关心这件事情的，所以我昨我来了，昨天在国会里面啊、呃、就有讨论这件事情。I follow this issue very closely, and actually, uh, I discussed this issue with some members of the Congress when, uh, we were in the Capitol Hill yesterday. 啊，我得到的答案就是讲者啊，说的人他啊，他有前后文，那因为。啊、呃，报道没有办法，全部人都报道，所以报道其中一句话，一一两句话，所以因为这样就造成误会。I was told that actually this statement has been out of context, so、uh, the original、uh, meaning has been distorted. 然后他啊、呃、一直觉得这个不严重，所以他迟迟都没有进一步说明，所以让这个事情啊、呃、在台湾发酵，台湾对这件事情。有很多人是啊、呃，这个很就是啊、呃，这个很反对，而且啊、呃，增加台湾的以美论。And the council, the congressman thought that it was not a very serious issue, so that's why he did not have further elaboration on the on his、uh, statement. However, it has、uh, become a heated, uh, debated. Um, Issue in in Taiwan and、uh, also further、uh, increase、um, the number of people、uh, holding、uh, the mindset of、uh, U.S. skepticism. 那我听说后来他有对外说明，而且有表示道歉。我是觉得这样应该就让。And I was told that actually、um, the congressman apologized for his statement, and he had、uh, a further elaboration on his statement. So I think that's the end of this issue. 我我非常同意罗金先生刚才讲的。如果他真的做这种倡议，那这个倡议是不好的倡议，就是愚蠢的倡议。
But I agree with you. It's not really a good idea if it is uh, his true intention. Thank you for that answer. I understand. I also <laughs> hope this idea will go away, but I'm not so sure. Uh, the, 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 the larger issue, I think, is that uh, many uh, in Washington argue that defending Taiwan is only important because of the chips, not because of the values of freedom and democracy and human rights. Uh, what do you think about this idea that the, the, silk, the chips are the most important thing? And in fact, some U.S. politicians argue for moving all of the chips technology to America. Do you think that is on the table, possible, good, bad? Uh, I think for any country or for any individuals, happiness is of course very important. And I know that uh, interests uh, lead to happiness. However, we cannot uh, sacrifice righteousness or justice to pursue happiness. So I think we need to take care of both uh, interests as well as righteousness. Taiko Actually, in my speech, I mentioned about this because uh, I mentioned that some politicians overlook uh, the um, righteousness and justice or uh, human rights and uh, fo only focus on uh, interests. And uh, um, that's why it leads to the shrinking or withering of the global uh, democratic landscape. 所以我今天演講的題目,我剛才那種演講的題目,我的題目是這樣寫,文明程序,蛇磨,蛇美其髓,公益生長,非美不可。So that's why uh, my the speech of my title is that the United States a pillar of civiliz of civilization and justice. 我覺得為自由民主連前法治,這個就是 文明,這個文明一定要存續下去,這普世價值一定要存續,這個沒有美國是沒有辦法的。那要伸張公理正義,必須一定要美國,我今天這個題目是這樣子。And I believe that universal values of freedom, democracy, human rights, and rule of law are the uh, major elements of civilization which should be continued and the US uh, the United States play a very pivotal role in uh, continuing these um, values and also to continue to uh, act uh, or to protect or to promote uh, justice and righteousness thank you very much I'm gonna open it up for questions just one easy question uh, to end with uh, who will win the presidential election? In, uh, <laughs> so I will also um, give you a simple answer and please do not protest. Agree? Uh, okay. <laughs> Of course, those who uh, receive more ballots will be elected. I cannot argue with that logic. Uh, we do have time for a couple of questions. 
I would just ask that uh, first you introduce yourself, uh, yourself uh, and uh, uh, please tell us which speaker you're directing the question uh, to, or both. And if you have a political statement, please put it in the form of a question. <laughs> and we'll start there. Go ahead. Please wait for the microphone. And a reminder, the questions and answers are on the record. Uh, 您刚才讲到台湾的历史的时候，说是台湾的社会和民众有很强的抵御外来侵略的DNA。但是，一九四九年之后，有中国大陆的很多民众到了台湾。现在台湾社会民众当中的这个DNA有变化，民进党同时也
，啊、呃，我是认为民主政治哈、哦、有很多好处，其中一个好处就是当他受到敌人在啊、呃、侵略的时候，他那个凝聚共识会非常快，就跟民主政治跟威权体系跟专制体系不一样的地方。那台湾现在是民主体系。虽然内部平常会有一些意见不同，但是如果真的啊、呃、遭遇到外侮的话，内部要团结是非常快的。And one、uh, advantage of、uh, democratic politics、uh, is that when facing foreign aggression,、uh, it will be very quick to reach a consensus、um, and also unity within the country,、uh, which is very different from that of authoritarian regime or autocracy. 就从啊、呃，这个过去第一次世界大战跟第二次世界大战。美国的态度，我们可以看得出来。尤其第二次世界大战的时候，刚开始的时候，美国也不愿意介入战争。但是，自政治上事件发生以后，忽然间，美国就很快加强那种战力，包括所有的武器啦、军备，那非常快速就就整个就发展起来了，啊，就很快就打胜仗。所以，我是觉得民主国家有这个好处。那台湾是一个民主国家，我是相信，如果碰到这个啊敌人来犯的时候，台湾人民要团结很应该很快。So from、um, World War II, we can see the changing position of the United States. From the very beginning, the United States、uh, did not have the、uh, intention to intervene until、um, the Uh, Pearl Harbor uh, attack, and、uh, the United States uh, quickly uh, prepared itself to、uh, engage itself in the war. So that's one of the advantages for democratic countries, and so is Taiwan. So I believe that when facing、uh, external aggression,、uh, the people of Taiwan will be very quick in reaching a consensus and in preparing themselves to resist、uh, external aggression. Thank you very much.、Uh, yes, it seems there were a lot more pro-Russian Ukrainians before the attack, and now there has been a a, 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 a fall in the number of pro-Russian Ukrainians after the attack. So I I understand your point. I also take your point that、uh, the United States tends to do the right thing after exhausting all of the other <laughs> available <laughs> options.、Uh, <laughs> Nuri, can I just ask for your reaction to what the president has said today, and any closing thoughts that you may have? Th thank you very much.、Um, I, this is an important topic. I wanted to thank the、uh, Hudson Institute and leadership for、uh, continuing to、uh, to carry out this important conversation and educate American people,、uh, policymakers, that we have to do the right thing and defend and 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 protect Taiwanese sovereignty and Taiwanese democracy. That is in line with our, our values. Uh, with that, I wanted to thank our comms team for quickly putting together this、uh, event. Thank you, Morgan. And I also wanted to thank our guest of honor,、uh, President Yu, and most importantly,、uh, amazing journalist <laughs> with those excellent questions,、uh, Josh Rogan.、Uh, give it up. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.